Christian circles, one of the socially acceptable ways to say you want to make more money is to say that it's really not for you. You just want to give that money to someone else. But does that really make sense? Let me rephrase it, and you may see why this is kind of a weird thing to say. It's basically saying, I want to pull in money from this source over here, these people, or this business, or whatever it is. I want to pull in more money in order to pass it along to someone else. Someone who's poor, or to the church, or to some other Christian ministry. It kind of sounds like Robin Hood. You know, the guy who would go out and steal from the rich in order to give that money to the poor. He didn't want the money himself, he was just a conduit to redistribute money and wealth from one group of people to another. This statement shows a mindset that is not actually very conducive to making money in the first place. So look at this diagram. I want to make more to give more. There's me in the middle, and on the left, someone you could imagine is my boss, my employer, or maybe a customer if I'm running my own business. On the right is some poor guy that I'm wanting to help out. So in this diagram, I'm trying to pull money from the rich guy on the left to myself just so I can push it along to the poor guy on the right. When I say this, my verbal and mental focus is on the money. And what's the focus of my heart? Just read that statement again. I want to make more to give more. There's not just one source of discontentment, there's two. One is that I'm not making enough money to begin with. The second is I'm not giving enough money. Now imagine I change my mindset. I want to go out into this world and whoever I come in contact with, I want to be a source of blessing to them. My focus is no longer on pulling money from my employer. My focus is on serving and giving to my employer to meet their needs. On the other side, looking at this poor guy in the diagram, I'm also focused on him. But it's not just a financial focus anymore. It's a question of how can I bless this guy? I won't just immediately hand out money. I'll learn more about him. You know, where's he been? What are his needs right now? What are the results of this new mindset? When I focus diligently on serving my employer or customers, I do actually make more because I'm of greater service to them. In the end, I'm going to get a promotion or I'm going to get more contracts. One way or another, I'm going to make more money from that connection. And likewise, over here on the giving side, with that knowledge of this person's situation, plus the greater amount of money that's now flowing through me, I can give more and I can also give more effectively. I can give in a wiser way that's more likely to meet this guy's needs. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. This was the advice that Paul gave to slaves serving their masters. And while today, you know, we aren't slaves serving our employers, it sometimes feels that way. And I think this same advice applies to us too. This video is just an introduction to the concept. If you want to learn more, watch this one next. In that video, I go into a lot more detail about how we can build skills to serve our current employer and where that leads us down the road. Promotion, being able to start our own business, allowing us to have a bigger impact in the world.